Virgo, how you doing? Going to be doing your reading here. General read, so just take what resonates. So let's see what's going on. What messages do we have here for Virgo? What messages do we have here for Virgo? We have the Ten of Wands starting off your reading here. This is the center of your reading. Let's see. We have Death, Scorpio Energy, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy here. Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. We have the Eight of Swords. A lot of you guys, um, there's some sort of change here. Maybe there was a little bit of anxiety, or maybe you felt restricted in something here. But I do feel you guys moving away from something. I feel like there's some um, improvement in, not necessarily improvement, just kind of transformation. You're going through or have went through a transformation of moving towards something that you really want here. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune down here. There's change here. A lot of you guys, I do feel like you're in this energy, though. Death with the Eight of Swords. Uh, we have the Two of Wands. We get one more card. The Ten of Swords here. All right, let's see. We do have the Ace of Cups underneath here as well. So there is there's some stuff here. A lot of changes here, Virgo. A lot of changes. All right, we start off your reading here with the Ten of Wands, all right? So Ten of Wands is a, it's an energy of a lot of responsibility. There's a lot going on here in your life, right? And we all do, it doesn't matter what zodiac, it's just the fact that there's a lot of things we need to take care of, there's a lot of stress. That's really what's going on, right? And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is your energy, but this is focusing on something. You've been really hard at work at something, or maybe you've been trying to learn something new or level up in some sort of way here. So maybe at work, you're just kind of focusing more on just completing the task. You know, if this is a project, a side job, or something like that, you're really focused on building something, right? Now with death over here, I feel like a lot of you guys have um, really closed out past cycles here, or at least working on closing out cycles that were not good for you. This could be people, you know, things here that you've been dealing with, okay? Now with the Eight of Swords, past energy here, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, you know, I do feel like a lot of you guys had to deal with anxiety or maybe needing to break free from that thought overthinking to kind of get into this energy because I feel like maybe there's something here that you had to overcome. Maybe there's like, um, you know, maybe you're speaking in public or, um, you know, maybe you're doing a presentation. Maybe you're into sales and you have to kind of speak in front of people, whatever it is. I feel like that you had to overcome some sort of obstacle and you had to go through a transformation to kind of get into this energy here okay so now you're in an energy where you can make a choice you can make a decision but you came across you have the wheel of fortune in your um it's kind of more your subconscious area but the wheel of fortune being over here it's like things shifted to where you you're moving into more of your own power here right now i do see the ten of swords sitting over here now i'm reading intuitively here and the reason why i see the ten of pentacles the two of wands here so you have a decision you need to make here okay that does bring some sort of stress with you internally because it's like there's a lot going on. There's like, you know, you don't want to make a decision where it's like you invest into something that doesn't bring you the return that you're looking for. You know what I mean? But you also don't want to be stressed because the Knight of Wands is like going on adventures, having a good time, you know, just really being that fire energy and creating new ideas and really just kind of being in, in this Well, yeah, that happened. The microphone, I don't know what's going on with my um, equipment lately here. First, there's another video where my my phone shuts off, and then now this one here, you guys got the microphone that stopped working here. It just got disconnected. I don't know what happened. But basically here, um, I'll kind of just give you a quick overview of what I was kind of talking about. But um, I was talking more about the Ten of Swords, okay, and, and, and kind of just the overthinking that kind of puts you in that energy because, again, we're looking at future energy here. Um, so it is saying for you to not overthink and put yourself in that Ten of Swords energy or that energy of like maybe this is not going to happen or you're overthinking or maybe you're just kind of restricting yourself. And, um, you know, you're put in a position here where you have the ability to make your own decision. So that's kind of what I was talking about. Kind of pull back your energy and just live at the moment here and just enjoy. You just go do things that you enjoy doing. You're still going to get the Ten of Pentacles. You're still coming here. There's nothing... What you're destined for is not going to be changed. So you're going to get it, okay? 
Um, so don't overthink. If there's anything here, don't overthink. Now, you do have the Ace of Cups being over here. Um, it would be nice to say that you have a new connection coming in, Virgo, but this is about you right now. This is about you working on yourself. This is about loving yourself and really freeing you from any sort of restrict restrictions. And I, I feel like that's more about your mind. Overthinking things, uh, thinking negative or just negative outcomes. You know, it's like one of those things where, let's just say you, you want to start something and, and you have to, again, I'm going to talk about publicly speaking because that's kind of what's coming out here. But if you have to do that, I feel like you're already thinking anything negative. Like, you know what? Right here, you can look at that right here. The death, the ten of wands and the ten of swords. It's like you're already thinking that there's negative response coming towards you. Okay. But it's also saying here, will the fortune, ten of wands and knight of wands, who cares? Like, just do what you got to do. Be you. That's really what it is, right? So that's kind of the energy you have to focus on. And that's tough. You know, a lot of people can say that, but, you know, I've been in that position too where I, I don't feel comfortable. You know, I didn't feel comfortable talking to my cell phone for a while, right? But you have to work your way through it and then eventually you kind of get more into it. So if someone that is, you know, maybe an introvert is, is, is a process. You have to go through a process here. But you're destined for something great and, and the universe is going to put you in these situations to get you to this Ten of Pentacles. So everyone's on a different timeline, different journey, but it's like the end result, you're still getting the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, it's like, um, you know, when you have a lot of bills, you have like a lot of things to take care of, whatever it is, and you, and you get that, all that stuff in your mind is all stressing you out. And sometimes when you're working, you think that, oh, so if I do something wrong, I can lose my job and how am I gonna pay my mortgage? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? You start, you're overthinking. You know what I mean? Just all you gotta do is do what you do. That's really what it is. And, um, you know, and just imagine if you didn't have any bills and all you're doing was just, you know, doing what you love to do and you're making money and imagine what your feelings would be like, right? And it's tough to do to even think that way, but when you think that way, it does help in some sort of way, okay? Obviously, it's not reality, but, you know, it does help that, hey, you know what, maybe I am, I'm stressing out for no reason. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to point out here, all right? Um, I'm just going to see the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords here for you guys. We have the Sun with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, and then the Star. Look at that. So it's saying here not to worry. Don't worry about this stuff. This is just overthinking. Have fun. Getting your childlike energy. The Star here. Wish fulfillment. Keep driving towards your dream. And Queen of Pentacles underneath here. This is your energy. Okay. So I'm going to stop the reading right there, Virgo. I mean, whoever is feeling like things are just not moving forward or you feel like you're going through transformation or just you're feeling a lot of emotions, whatever it is here, it's saying to um, just do what you love to do. You move through it here, okay? Just um, I'm trying to see if I can put in anything in other words because when I say it that way, I feel like it's just being said and it's so easy, but it's not easy. It's easy to say but hard to do. So I'm trying to put it in different words to where it can help you in some way. Um, the only thing I can think of is like putting myself in this situation. You know, it's like it, 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 there's a feeling of, of worry of what other people do think of you. You know, you do think of that. That's that eight of swords, ten of swords energy. It's like, what are they going to say? This. You're really concerned about other people when you just have to worry about yourself. And that kind of gets you on that road into the direction you need to move towards. Okay, so... And, and overthinking is never going to help you out. Um, you know, if you're thinking too much about the future, you know, if I don't do it this way, then maybe this is not going to work out or this and that. I'm just saying here that you're just, you know, you're going to get what you're, what you're supposed to get. So don't worry about all that stuff. Just do the work. Do what you need to do here. Stop. Let go of stuff you can't control. Okay? That's really what it is. What you can't control, there's nothing you can do about it. So do work on stuff that you can control and make changes on. All right, Virgo. All right, let me give you guys an oracle. If this resonated by, by any means here or has helped you in any way, do hit that like button and um, let's see what we got going on here. 34, capacity to love coming out here for you. Capacity to love. It says here, each human, each human individual is created with a profound longing to feel loved. Out of this need for love, you may exaggerate and parade your fascinating qualities while masking your weaknesses or fears. Wow. If you are not committed to looking at your root issues, you will feel disconnected from your true self. 
So it says here to take a moment to look at how you're handling yourself. Are you being open and honest? Are you withdrawing from a situation? Are you masking a problem with some sort of avoidance tactics such as shopping, drinking, or eating excessively? Are you holding grudges? So it's basically saying here to really look at yourself and, and look at the reasons why you feel in this energy, you know what I mean? Or just feel in a certain way here. And it's saying to look at that and see if there's what changes you can make to move forward here. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Again, if this resonated, please do hit that like. If you guys have not subscribed yet and you feel like we vibe here, go ahead and hit that button. Hit that bell for notifications. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.